Now that we've dried it with a dry patch, now we're going to neutralize the CR10 with coral oil. I'm just going to take a little bit of this oil. and go down the barrel with it and just going back and forth. Getting it really good down there just to neutralize all that remover, copper remover. Now after we just done it with croil oil down on a wet patch. Now we're going to actually use it, a brush again. Surprisingly enough, after you just did that, all those other steps, there's more stuff that will actually come out. Uh, we're going to use this croil oil on the brush again to break up even more. Let's go all the way down. We're going to do this, you know, 10 to 15 times down the barrel, however many you feel like doing it. We're going to remove the brush, put on the jig again, and we're going to dry patch. It until it's nice and dry, really dry. You want it really, really clean at this stage. As you can see, it's still really dirty. We just went through all those steps of doing a brushing and stuff. I might actually hit this with again with more brushing to be able to get it cleaned up more because it is still really dirty after all we just did. Now that you just saw that we uh, had a dirty patch, I'm still gonna dry patch this really, really well. And we're just gonna move forward the whole cleaning process. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner now. We've gone through it a little bit more and uh, came out with a nice clean patch. So now I'm happy with where, where we're at on the cleanness of the barrel. I'm gonna take a Q-tip and clean the crown just so that we clean up all the oils off of there so it doesn't drip back into the barrel and just keep it nice and clean. Just like that. We're done with the cleaning rod. Now I'm going to go with the cleaning the, the chamber of the throat. The barrel is nice and clean. We're going to try to remove all the oil and CR10 that's in there. And what I'm going to use is I just use a pistol cleaning rod and I take a patch, a 30 caliber patch, just roll it up. There's a lot of different methods of doing this. Some people believe that you don't even need to clean your barrel, just clean the throat. Um, it's again all what you would like to do. There's all different types of theories behind it. Now that I'm cleaning the throat out, getting it in there really good, you can see that there's a good amount of dirt on there. Roll it up again. We're going to clean it until that throat's nice and clean. I've just cleaned the throat. Now what I'm going to work on is cleaning out, cleaning off the bolt, cleaning the inside of the receiver. Just going to grab a towel, dry it off, there's different types of lubes that you can use, you can use a just a paste lube or a lube that has molly in it, I'm going to use this lube on this particular bolt, just going to shake it up 
add a dab here, and then just to take my finger and rub it over the bolt and let it sit. I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm going to start cleaning the action itself, absorbing all the excess fluids, grease that's built up, gunpowder, just clean, it, just clean it all up and get in here. Clean the rails. Now that we cleaned the action with the Q-tips thoroughly, this is still has lube on it. I'm going to operate it in here a few times, rock, racking it back and forth, just getting some of that lube on there. And that, since this is a Molly style lube, it recommends to be actually after you've had it set for a few minutes to take it off and dry, dry the, the bolt. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to place it back in here. And we're done. Well, that's how I clean my rifle. This is a 260 high velocity round, leaves a lot of brass down the barrel. So I always recommend cleaning it right after you're done shooting to maintain the integrity of the barrel and also to maintain the accuracy. Some people say you don't even need to clean your rifles but that's completely up to you.